Hello everyone. This is lecture level in the series of the course differential equation and discrete mathematics. Now through this video we will start with the new chapter that is chapter 2 second order linear differential equation. In this session we will be discussing the notion of second order linear differential equation or in fact a second general form of second order differential equation. and its solution and a very important theorem in differential equation that is existence and uniqueness theorem so let's start this uh, chapter 2 so first of all we see the definition of second order differential equation so it it uh, does have a notation the way the first order differential equation have so we can put it in this form a second order differential equation is an equation of the form d2y by dx2 is equal to some function of x comma y comma dy by dx okay now in this case you can see that the highest order derivative that is present is d2y by dx2 so that's why it is called uh, and and in this side you have the maximum order derivative Uh, the first order that is dy by dx okay so expression this is in fact the expression consisting the higher uh, differential coefficient uh, with the order 2 and that's why this is called as the second order differential equation now one example we would see over here is this d2y by dx2 is equal to sin x plus 3y plus dy by dx to whole square now even if it is not in this form if this d2y by dx to have some constant we can still write down in this first form in this equation one form okay and so uh, whatever you have on the right hand side will be a function of uh, x uh, that is independent variable dependent variable and maybe the uh, differential coefficient that is a first order differential coefficient that is present and in fact you can generalize this kind of definition uh, uh, this for a nth order differential equation okay so that i would leave leave, leave as an exercise you have also seen how the first order differential equation was uh, defined this is the second order differential equation so you can generalize it for the uh, second nth order differential equation okay now uh, coming to the solution when do we say a given function is a solution same definition a function y of y of x is a solution of 1 if it satisfies the given equation 1 so that is if y of x satisfies this d2y of x by dx2 is equal to f of x comma y of x comma dy of x by dx one simple example we would take this y double prime that is second derivative of y plus y is equal to 0 this is the equation given verify that y1 is equal to cos x plus y2 is equal to sin x are the solution of this given differential equation this differential equation has a significance in uh, uh, physics significance in physics and it it plays a very important role in electronics as well okay and uh, you must be knowing the solution of it uh, two linearly independent solutions in this case are cos x and sin x and in th its general solution is simply given as the linear combination of this two solution so anyway let us verify whether this y1 and y2 are the solution of this given differential equation i would discuss only for y1 in a similar way you can discuss for y2 so what i'll have to do is that i'll have to check whether this y1 satisfies the given equation y double dash plus y is equal to zero. So you have to basically prove that y one, the second derivative of y one plus y one is equal to zero. That's the only uh, thing that we need to see. So for that, let me see the first derivative. The first derivative is minus sin x, and so the second derivative is minus cos x. And so when I put it in the expression y uh, double dash plus y, that is y one second derivative of y one plus y one. that's this is nothing but minus cos x plus cos x is equal to 0 that's equal to right hand side so it satisfies the given equation and hence it is a solution of 1 i would leave this part as an exercise y2 is equal to sin x you can check by yourself that it also satisfies the given equation okay next a very important theorem which is called as an existence and uniqueness theorem consider the initial value problem first with a second order linear differential equation this is called as we would talk uh, about this uh, uh, in detail 
y uh, second derivative of y plus p of x into y dash plus q of x into y is equal to 0 with the initial condition y of x naught is equal to 0 and y prime of x naught is equal to some y1 as being this is a second order it has two initial condition okay now this theorem says that for this kind of differential equation uh, you will have only one solution which satisfies this uh, given differential equation and satisfies the initial condition so let the function okay for that again we need a hypothesis the function p and q be continuous in some interval alpha comma beta open interval then there exists one and only one function y of x satisfying this given equation to on the interval alpha, alpha comma beta so the function y is defined on the interval alpha comma beta and uh, satisfying the prescribed initial condition that is y of x naught is equal to y naught and y prime of x naught is equal to y naught definitely this x naught is coming from the interval alpha comma beta okay so that's what this theorem says the given initial value problem will always have a unique solution although uh, the differential equation uh, will not have a unique solution so let's take an example a same previous example uh, y double dash plus y is equal to zero uh, that is uh, second derivative of y plus y is equal to zero is the differential equation with the initial condition y of zero is equal to zero and y prime of zero that's the first derivative at zero is equal to one so this is the condition that is given or this is some more extra information with the differential equation is given okay now in the uh, previous exercise we have or in the previous example we have seen that y1 is equal to cos x and y2 is equal to sin x are both the solution of this differential equation so definitely that says that this given uh, differential equation does not have a unique solution but when the initial conditions are given it has a unique solution okay now uh, we would be using the fact that y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x is the general solution of the given differential equation First of all, the meaning of general solution is that any solution of this given equation can be written uh, in this form that is c1 cos x plus c2 uh, sin x. We will get uh, more in more detail uh, in general solution maybe in the next lecture. Okay. Meanwhile, we just and in fact, we are going to prove that for this uh, differential equation, we have this as the general solution. That means any solution can be actually written in this form. So we need to start with the general solution because any solution is of this form and uh, so in fact you can see that this will satisfy this differential equation okay. So now from here now these are the arbitrary constant that is occurring c1 and c2 just like in the first order differential equation we had one arbitrary constant always occurring in the general solution in the second order differential equation we will have always two arbitrary const uh, arbitrary constant occurring and if the initial problems initial values are given we need to eliminate it to find the exact or find the unique solution to this given differential equation okay so that's what we will be doing over here now what is given is that y of 0 y of 0 y of 0 is equal to 0 so through this we may be able to find one value that is either c1 c2 so y of 0 is equal to from here what does it imply c1 cos of 0 plus c2 sin of 0 is equal to 0 and this implies that c1 cos of 0 is 1 c2 is equal to 0 and so you have c1 is equal to 0 as the first so y reduces to what y reduces to c2 sin x now you need to find this value for c2 so for that we will first see what is y prime y prime of x you differentiate this y so the derivative of sine the derivative of cos is minus sine so minus c1 sin x plus derivative of sine is cos x so cos x so now here you apply y prime of 0 so i mean substitute x equal to 0 so you have minus c1 sin 0 which is always 0 so 
anyway c1 is equal to 0 so this would have eliminated uh, before only c2 cos of 0 so that uh, and you know that y prime of 0 uh, y prime of 0 is uh, given to be 1 so 1 is equal to y prime of 0 and that's same as c2 so this says that c2 is equal to 1 and thus the unique solution the solution to the initial problem is given by y is equal to is given by y is equal to c1 is equal to 0 and c2 is equal to 1 so sin x so we have eliminated we have eliminated the value c1 and c2 and in fact you can check that this is the only solution that will satisfy this given differential equation with the initial condition so always remember whenever we have initial value problem uh, we will have a unique solution on that interval so that's all for this today's session in the next session we will be discussing uh, some properties of uh, second order linear differential in equation in fact we may def uh, we will be defining second order linear differential equation uh, so thank you